Look, you feel good about recycling. You know it's good for the planet, but at the end of the day, it's also a business. There are companies, there are countries that buy these materials to use to make other materials and products. But what happens when one of the biggest buyers of this kind of stuff on the planet bows out? That's the situation going on right now. And the effect reaches all the way to Raleigh. Going green isn't producing the green anymore. The companies that process recyclables on behalf of Triangle Cities and Towns are losing money. China, once the largest importer of America's recycled materials, making two major changes. The first, no more paper and most cardboard. The second, whatever material they will still take, it's got to be the cleanest of the clean. I don't think we need to be gloom or doom, but I do think we need to be realistic and transparent about what the concern is. Raleigh Solid Waste Services Director Stan Joseph trying his best to stay positive when the city's contractor, Sunoco Recycling, is in the negative. There's a glut of supply and shrinking demand, enabling buyers to be more picky about what materials they want. If there was food in here, or if there was a type, if there was styrofoam in here, or if there's a, a pizza box with, box with grease or leftover pizza in it. Other contaminants, stuff that shouldn't be thrown in the bin. Plastic bags, clothing, rubber hoses, and Christmas lights. All things we found at the Sunoco plant, which also sorts for Durham, Cary, and Chapel Hill, among others. If we try to sell a highly contaminated load, is they will reject it, they'll send it back to us and uh, we won't take it to the landfill. We will try and address the issue by cutting this bale and rerunning it through our processing plant. But all that costs extra money. All of that costs extra money, that's and correct. And who's gonna pay for that? Well, eventually it's gonna have to be either uh, covered by the processor or passed on through to the consumer, the city of Raleigh. People like us. People like us, that's right. The I-Team reaching out to the region's other main contractors, Joe Daner, a manager at Republic Services, saying cleaning the stream will help save the planet and the recycling program. It's becoming a rather expensive endeavor to continue to recycle, and that doesn't include um, the transportation to get it to the processor. In Raleigh, there's no current threat to ending recycling, but keeping costs down could mean limiting what's collected, including glass. It's the heaviest item. That we, that we have to transport, so there's a huge cost associated, associated with transporting it. There's a minimal market for glass. So here's what you can do. The city of Raleigh is actually coming out with an app that you'll be able to use on your phone and say, hey, I've got this. Can it go in the bin? Can it be recycled somewhere else? Or should it go just in the trash? We've also got a lot of resources, other helpful materials online. Just check out this story on our website, abc11.com. In Raleigh, Jonah Kaplan, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.